Hi guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how to wire a three-way switch in your house. To wire a three-way switch we will have to have two switch boxes and one light box. To one of the boxes we will have to have the wire that called line because this wire gonna bring electricity to this box and then by this traveling wire it's gonna transfer the electricity to this box and then to the lighting box. Now you can see we don't have a power because the breaker is off. If you turn on the breaker, you can see the power came on, but because nothing is connected, we don't have power in the system. To complete the installation, you're gonna have to turn off the breaker, and now we can proceed the installation. So also for the installation, we have this wire, we have three conductors, neutral, two traveling wires, and in this box we have neutral and a hot wire. The hot wire, it's not hot now, it's gonna transfer the electricity that comes to this box, the light fixture. Let's do the wiring. Check it one more time that there is no power anywhere. By the way, all the tools and materials I'm gonna use in this video, I'm gonna list in the description below this video. First of all, I'm gonna prepare the conductors on this side. This is the line. We're gonna cut the insulation off and usually when you have the switch there will be a gauge on the back side of the switch with a length how long should be this strip. So you just put your wire next to this gauge and then you can see where you have to strip the wire. You can check yourself. This is good. Let's proceed with the other ones. On both sides of the wiring we will have the same switch so the strip gauge will be the same. And one more thing before we connect the switch. On the back of the switch you will see four terminals. Two of them will be brass color one green and one black. The black terminal is a common terminal. This is where the line hot wire comes in. Then it's gonna travel to the other switch and on the other side we're gonna have the same switch with the same common terminal. To this terminal you will connect the wire that's gonna put the load on the light. But we will start with the switch on the first box. So I'm gonna put the black wire, the hot wire and I'm gonna use the screwdriver. The reason I'm gonna use the screwdriver, I'm using Milwaukee 11 in 1 screwdriver. It has a special shape on the tip that perfectly fits in the screw. So in that case you're not gonna strip the screw at all. If you would use the power tool, you may damage the terminal and it's gonna be hard to work on later on. Also, we need to connect the ground wire on the light switch on each of them. But it's inconvenient and not correct to put these two wires on the switch. I'm gonna do the pigtail. So we take these two wires and also using the third wire, this is gonna be our pigtail. We put them next to each other and put the wire nut. So this helps us to connect the light switch to the ground easily. Bend the wire and put it on the terminal. Again, using the screwdriver, tighten it up. I'm gonna hide the ground wire back in the, in the box. And now we're ready to connect uh, traveler wires. The switch is not required to have a neutral conductor connected to it, but we will have to have it when it comes to the light box. So we're just gonna bond these two conductors together and put the wire nut on them. Also hide the wire in the box. At this point we have two travelers left. Black conductor and red conductor. And I'm just gonna connect these uh, two travelers to the light switch. One goes on top, I will put the black one on the top and red one on the bottom. And as a reminder, these two conductors, traveling wires, they go on the brass terminals. This wire is 14 gauge, so I can just push it in. Before I put this switch in the box, I'd like to use electrical tape and put it around the switch a couple times. It will prevent from any shortage in the future. Now it adds a little pr more protection to the switch and we can put it inside. If you're wondering what way you should put the switch in the box, look into the mark top, that means this edge goes on the top in the box. Checking this switch, I see the top mark is here, so I need to turn it and put the light switch inside the box. 
Now I can use the power tool to secure this switch in the box. Start with the same pigtail for the ground wire. And as I said previously, common terminal connected to the black wire that goes to the light box. So you put it in here. And because it's a 12 gauge, it's going to be secured by this terminal screw. Only thing left is connect two traveler wires. I'm gonna put them at the same location as I've put them at this switch. So the red one comes on the top, just push it in, the black ones comes to the bottom. So looking for the top, top is here. So basically at this point is to put socket on the light box for the light bulb. I have one of them already prepared. So I will strip the wires, done. And now we're ready to connect all the wires together. Black goes to the black, white to white, and we have the ground screw in here. Put it here. And using the screwdriver. Connecting white to white. Always when you put the wire nut, make sure that the connection is pretty tight. So you just pull the wire out and if it doesn't come out, that's good. And the last wire in this installation. Again, checking the wire. That's good. Find the wire in the box. Put the cover. Alright, two last touches is to put the cover on the light switches. And to put the bulb in. Alright, I'm ready to turn the power on. Now the power is back on, we can check it by using Fluke 1 AC wall tester. And you should be able to see it, it lights up red. And even you can see the power that comes to this switch when you put it next to the traveling wire. And let's do the test run. And it works. Hopefully my video helped you a lot. As a reminder, all the tools and materials will be listed in the description below this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.